Okay, next I am going to, what am I gonna do? Hey y'all, it's Maya and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing my fall and winter foundation routine. So I'm starting with a fresh face, nothing on this face, and I'm gonna just jump into the video and show y'all exactly what I do for my whole face routine. So that's not gonna include the eyes, or anything extra you know what I'm saying it's just gonna be my foundation routine so foundation highlighting and contouring and you know the powders and everything so if you're interested in seeing all that then just keep on watching so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera because they're kind of a little jacked up I haven't gotten them threaded in a while so yeah I just did them off of camera because it took me a minute to make them look okay. Just a little backstory, I have oily skin, and for the winter, I like to not do anything that's too drying. So I'm gonna start off with my primer, and it's gonna be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Just ignore my sprained finger, you guys. It's been a rough couple of weeks. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks, not gonna lie. Okay, so after I apply my primer, you know sometimes in the summer I'll go in with a powder on top of my primer before foundation, but for the winter and fall, I just go straight into my foundation, so it's there's none of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. You know, I like a full coverage look, so I'm not gonna be shy. And also, all the products will be in the description box down below. Okay, so that's the foundation, and I could go in and do another layer if I wanted like more coverage, but I'm okay with this for now. I'm gonna go on top of it with my concealer, the Fenty Beauty Concealer, the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 385 and one thing I've noticed about this concealer is that it dries down very quickly so I like to do one eye at a time or one under eye at a time I don't know what it is about this concealer, you guys, but it just, it's, it's, it's just really a light coverage concealer. And I always just try to make it work for me, but it just doesn't work. Maybe I spoke too soon, because now it's looking like a good concealer. Okay, yeah, so I just have to do two layers. So the Fenty Concealer, I, I've been like not using it for a little bit because I didn't know what it was about it, but it just didn't really work well, but I just figured it out. It's just not very covering. And I like a lot of coverage, you know? But I just have to do two layers, so that's cool. You really wanna take your time with blending out your products, okay, such as your foundation and your concealers. Those are really important. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the concealer to the rest of my face. My forehead. Chin. No, this is something that I do do quite often. I do do my reverse contouring very often, so. You guys, it just makes your cheeks look so much more chiseled when you add the concealer under your contour, where that would go. Flawless. I'm gonna just blend that out first right now, actually. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush that I used and we're gonna blend out those edges. This is a must, must, must do because there's just no way you're gonna get by without doing this. And you can actually take the whole foundation brush and go over the highlight you did under your jaw or on your jaw, under your cheek. If it's too bright and you just want to tone it down or something that's fine it's still gonna be noticeable I don't usually do a cream contour but I'm gonna do it today because I'm just doing like a complete full face so I might as well so boom I'm using the Fenty Beauty concealer The Fenty Beauty Pro uh, tongue twister. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade for ninety five. You want to blend back and forth like a mixture. It's a combination going back and forth and then up as well so maybe going back and then up but you don't want to drag it down because you just put concealer down there you know unless you're trying to yeah no don't drag it down drag it back and forth and up Oh, yeah, I knew I did, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I did too much nose contour. Well, we're still gonna blend it out. That's the only way we can get through this. <laughs> so, I'm gonna wipe some off. Spin it around. Okay, so if you need to, go back over with your foundation brush, all those edges where concealers meet, this nose, you know I got to get at this nose. Boom, okay? So now all the creams are on. So now I'm gonna go in with my powders and I'm going to set my face. Today I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Loose Powders, setting powders. These are the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powders in the shade Nutmeg and the one in the shade Honey. So to get the perfect color for me, um, I still 
feel it's best to mix honey with a little bit, just like a dash, a pinch of nutmeg for my highlighted portions in order to set that part. So that's what I'm doing now. A lot of the times in the past, I would mix powders together before. So now I've mixed up those shades and I'm going to take my brush and, is this the right brush? No, it's not the right brush. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to just dip this in the powder and apply it to my highlight portion. So in the summertime, I like to apply my powders with sponges when I'm setting my highlighted portions because that would really just help the powders really soak into the skin and it'll absorb, help absorb a lot of the oils that you that I produce. But for the winter, you know, like I was saying, you want to change things up and make sure you're doing things a little more hydrating instead of a little more mattifying way. I'm going to get some of nutmeg and I'm just going to set all over my face. So I am really not shy with the powders. I like a lot of powders because I am a very oily girl. So, and I like to put my makeup on and not worry about it. I don't wanna have to think about my makeup after I put it on, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I set my face with these powders, my makeup does not go anywhere. Also, um, these are like considered probably high-end. They're definitely Definitely high end. They're only sold at Sephora and Fenty Beauty, I think. So, another option for powders is Black Radiant. So, I use the shade Banana and the shade Honeymoon, and I'll mix those two together. And yeah, it, it basically does the same thing, but this Fenty Beauty one is definitely more warm than those powders are. Those powders are a little more on the cooler side, which definitely is okay for the fall, but you might get some flashback. With this, no flashback, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, and this is gonna be the Black Radiance True Complexion Palette, the shade, that middle one in there. I'm just gonna apply this to everywhere that I applied that contour. It's just going to intensify that contour. And you guys, this is like a lot of makeup, you know. This is a full face. So this is what you do if you're going out somewhere. Oh, or I'll do this um, full makeup look, say, if I have work. But I have plans after work. Then I will do this full face makeup and it will last, it will last. This makeup does last the full entire day because of the foundation I use, because of my setting powders, all that matters, you know? All right, so this is pretty much it for the foundation routine. I'm basically just gonna go ahead and do my blush and highlight and my eye makeup and lips, all that jazzy stuff that you can see in other videos. I'll link them up in the top here and stuff and I'll also link some other videos that I do in the description box down below please be sure to check them out so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in a minute okay so this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed the video I actually recorded the rest of this look in another video if you'd like to go check that out I will definitely link it in the description box or somewhere on the screen perhaps and you can go check it out and I will see 
you over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. And also leave a comment down below of what you think of the makeup and any other videos you'd like to see me do. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fatima Maya 3 I will definitely link those down in the description box. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!